But they also believe, the agents, uh, believe that he was actively recruiting me uh, to become a spy, which they loved. And they were like, if this happens, go for it. And it's soon to be a hit movie, but we go one-on-one -on -one with the man who helped bring down one of the biggest spies in U.S. history. In February of 2001, FBI agent Robert Hansen was arrested in what's been described as one of the worst cases of espionage ever against the United States. And one of the key people who helped capture Hansen was a young FBI operative whose story is portrayed in a new film entitled Breach. Today, he talked to Frank Buckley, who joins us now from the newsroom with the inside story of the case. Frank. Well, Leela, Eric O'Neill was that young FBI operative who was assigned to spy on Hansen as Hansen was divulging top-secret material to the Russians. You're being tasked to headquarters. Well, you'll be riding the desk of an agent named Robert Hansen. Robert Hansen, played by Chris Cooper, the career FBI agent who in real life was eventually convicted of spying for the Soviets and later the Russians. The 26-year-old FBI undercover operative tasked to spy on Hansen, Eric O'Neill, played by Ryan Philippi in the new film Breach. I didn't realize how, how serious um, his betrayal had been. The real Eric O'Neill was a so-called ghost for the FBI who had previously tailed terror suspects, photographing them without their knowledge. With Hansen, however, O'Neill says there was no hiding. I had to come out of the shadows and instead of uh, being behind a lens, I had to be face to face with the guy. FBI officials suspected Hansen was a Russian mole, but they needed proof. O'Neill would help them get it. A crucial moment when agents drew Hansen out of the office he shared with O'Neill so they could download the contents of his PDA. But as Hansen was coming back, O'Neill says he realized he wasn't sure if he'd put it back in the right pocket of his bag. And as I was in front of his bag, exactly as it's portrayed in the movie, I hear him coming in the door. I did just sort of hope I was lucky, drop him in there, a quick sign of the cross and run, <laughs> run back to my desk. Hansen would eventually be arrested near his home in Vienna, Virginia, a moment captured on FBI video and recreated at the very same spot in the movie. It would be after the arrest when Hansen would realize O'Neill was working against him all along, despite O'Neill's near slip when he said goodbye to Hansen two days before the arrest. And I said, um, well, hey, boss, and, and he paused for a second. I said, I'll catch you later. I couldn't resist. I had to do it. <laughs> Hansen would later plead guilty to 15 counts of espionage and conspiracy charges in a plea agreement that spared him his life. And Eric O'Neill left the FBI soon after the Hansen case. Today, he lives with his wife and works as a lawyer in the Washington, D.C. area. As for Hansen, he'll remain in prison for the rest of his life. I'm Frank Buckley in the newsroom. Hal, back to you. Priscilla Hojawala joins us now for a movie that comes out that is not exactly a romance. We're talking about Breach, which is a dramatic thriller, and you actually got to sit down with Ryan Phillippe. And he absolutely shines in this role, Mike. Yeah, Breach is based on a true-life story of espionage, and Phillippe plays an FBI agent in training. Nobody's tailing you, there isn't any GPS on your car, and I'm not a foreign agent trying to work you. After dramatic roles in Gosford Park and last year's Oscar-winning Best Picture, Crash, Ryan Phillippe is taking on a true-life role ripped from the headlines in the movie Breach. He stars as former FBI agent Eric O'Neill, responsible for bringing down one of the most notorious spies in U.S. history. What if you're smarter than I am? We can all understand what it's like to be overwhelmed or in over your head and, and uh, you know, wanting to prove yourself when you're starting out in a career, so I could connect to him. Eric O'Neill served as a special consultant on the film, which Philippi says was key to a successful and credible performance. There is an added responsibility there, but he actually in some ways made my job a lot easier. I mean, he gave me the character. I don't think I'd be much good at bluffing. I wasn't going to approach this movie. Uh, by saying that you need to do this, or I'm this, or, or you need to portray me this way. He was genuinely concerned in portraying me right. It's bull the whole thing. It's Kenneth Starr all over again, except I'm running around looking for the blue dress. He's a traitor, Eric. Started spying for the Russians, we think, in 1985. Philippi says his relationship with Hansen is another fascinating element to the story. 
there's this small little interplay, like for, with the boss from hell, you know, and like the guy who's like, oh, give me a break, you know. Have you been in my briefcase? No. It wasn't a real chummy set, and it doesn't always have to be. But in order to find the right working together that's called for every day, we found what we needed. I'm telling so many lies now, I can't keep them straight anymore. Philippi told me he especially enjoyed this role because he's a bit of a news junkie, and he also wanted to have the chance to see the inner workings of the FBI. Breach opens this Friday, and Mike, this one will keep you guessing. All right, thanks very much, Priscilla. Looking forward to it.